Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Yukon. I've put together a group of trucks that I think we're going to use as much as I can on this set. Uh, a lot of people were telling me this map can only be done with Russian trucks. Maybe that's true. We'll find out. But I'm sure as heck going to try to do the Canadian map with North American vehicles. So to start off, I have a mod, which is, you know, I don't use a lot of mods, but I like this one. We get a 1983 Chevy Bronco, uh, and it is loaded with SnowRunner tires. Oh, God, not this stupid game. This is a great game. What are you talking about? Uh, and I got it with the wood paneling finish. Uh, next up, we also have a uh, the P-12 is back in action because that was such a great truck on the last map. I think we'll be fine with that. Uh, we have the white Western Star. I'm sorry, the Western Star 49X. Uh, that's a pretty decent truck off-roading. Wanted to keep some modern equipment in the group. We also, I did go ahead into Alaska, and I finally found the Caterpillar. Uh, this truck carries cargo, um, like the cargo containers. I'm not sure if it does. It does fuel also, but I don't really see a big need for that. But we'll we'll see. I wanted to try it out anyway. We may not end up using it a whole lot, but there it is. Next to that, we have the Caterpillar CT680 as our crane truck. And last but not least, I did find the, also in Alaska, I found the dairy, uh, the, well, I guess it's Oshkosh, isn't it? But it's the big, the big Oshkosh truck, this guy right here. And I don't know. We're going to use that as our high hitch truck. So, um, actually, I think it does both high and low hitch, so that's going to be our hitching truck. And obviously, we still also will find the weird Caterpillar truck, the new one, on this map, because that's the DLC it came out with. But we're going to need to scout this map out first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with you for a little bit. We're going to take our Bronco and um, <coughs> kind of take a look here and see. We've got, looks like, one, two, three... For um, watchtowers. Now these I will use markers. I know people get mad when I use markers, but I have to kind of know which direction to head in. Looks like we got a bridge out here, so we're gonna have to go onto this piece of land going this way. Um, so anyway, I've heard nightmare tales about this map. We'll find out if it really is as hard as people are saying, but people are saying that this is a very difficult map to complete. So we will put this to the test and see if you guys are right. Let's go ahead and get our scouting done. Once again, this truck is new to me. I don't know how it's going to do. Looks like a pretty good truck, though. Love the Ford Bronco look. Uh, the interior is excellent. One of those few mods, I think, that I've seen that I've really been impressed with uh, overall. Everything looks good. It really does look like an old Ford inside here. It makes my skin crawl. All right, that, that awful wood finish. Um, all right, so hold on one second, folks. All right, so I need to find, let's see. That's going to be behind us. We're going to go to the right, I think, and then around the corner here. Oh, that was it, huh? But this is a nice truck. I like it because it's just like your standard off-roading truck, but it's set up kind of like a crawler, like you would even if like RC, like remote control. Or the guys that do that in Pennsylvania, like where they do the real rock crawling. It's set up for that kind of off-road action. So we should be able to do some pretty good off-roading with this truck. <clears throat> Ready for something new. Seems like they're only doing Fords and, or Chevys in this game so far, as far as like the... Scout trucks, uh, and international, obviously, but, and then, all, of course, all the Russian stuff. But I will say the steering is a little sluggish. I feel like I'm really, like, oh, I could have just come out that way. <laughs> well... Getting to know the map. So welcome to Canada. It is beautiful. Dawson Concrete Plant. Let's see. Um, all right, so where is this? 
What do we got unlocked so far? There, I'm looking to see if there's any kind of access road back that way. Hmm. Brick framing. I mean, there's definitely a road to our right. I don't know. I don't think that's going to go where we want it to go, but maybe it does. Wow, this thing is a little touchy on the handling. And that's still... Actually, it's pretty close, that marker. Oh, because we set it to go that way. All right, well, we'll get to this first marker and see where it takes us. Is there, there is a path back here. This is not where we want to go in here. Whoops. Okay. This thing does burn a decent amount of fuel, it looks like. We, we have an okay-sized gas tank and some reserves on the roof, but we've already gone through an eighth of a tank. Just driving around the pavement. I'm not super impressed with that. Oh, look at this mud. Wow. So you can see why right away, why people are saying this is a difficult map. This is a lot deeper than I've run into on some of the other maps. I'm going to try to get out of this here. we got stumps that are going to... Ah, what did you do that for? Ah. Wants to drag us back down in. I, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. So let's go ahead and fix that. Stupid. Really? Why is there no repair points out of 750? Why is the roof rack empty? Okay, that fixed it. Heavy duty pipe. Small roof rack, heavy duty pipe. Weird. Okay, whatever. Oh. Yeah, I'm not super sold. The handling on this truck is a bit sluggish. It's not. I feel like I steer and then it turns, so that's that's maybe one downside with this mod. It feels really kind of wonky. Oh, there's some snow. Well, there's your first snow for SnowRunner, guys. People have been asking where it is. There it is, and it's a nightmare and a half, as usual. There's some snow. We will be seeing a lot of snow when we get to Alaska, so don't fret, because there's lots more where that came from. Okay, so we got to find our way back. There is a trail there towards the outpost, so let's go ahead and see if we can follow this back up. And make our way up this hillside. Oh, man. And this is where the Russian vehicles will come in. That The Khan, with its uh, bubble tires, seems to float pretty easily over the snow. You're not even getting any forward progress at all in this truck. But because the Con has those like monster truck tires, that usually works pretty well in the snow conditions. Wow. <coughs> Let's try it with diff lock on. There we go. This is gonna take like a week. So we might have to scrap this truck idea. I like the truck, I do, but it might have been better for Michigan. I don't know that this truck's going to be able to handle the the Yukon. I'm interested to see how the Chevy Apache would do. Once again, I want to stick to an American truck. I really, or possibly the Chevy uh, CK 1500 with the monster truck tires, because those might help us float over the snow. There's no way of telling. 
But this truck isn't cutting it. So, well, it was a good try. Nice job, Ford Bronco. It was fun to try this mod out anyway, and I'm definitely going to keep this in my list of trucks to, to have. But for now, we're just going to take it and sell it because it's not what we need. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go grab the Apache, and we'll try again. All right, going through some of the options for this truck. Uh, we'll try this. I'll, I'll, we'll kind of play around with this a little bit here. Um, please install the appropriate suspension. Okay. It does have some monster truck tire options. Uh, but a lot of them are locked still, which is... Where, when are they going to lock? Please install... Oh, uh, appropriate suspension. Okay. Mud tires chained. Open new. I wonder. So let's try some of these different tires. The so suspension. This truck, I just stocked it. So let's see what we got. Um, we'll go with this 100. I don't really want a huge engine because obviously it's a Scout. We're not using it to to pull stuff. This would probably be a worthwhile upgrade, though, because it gives us a little bit more horsepower. Got the SnowRunner gearbox and the suspension. Tuned stock suspension, tuned suspension. Okay. And we should be able to have all the tires now. Yep. Okay, so let's see what we have. Um, I hate the fact that you have to have the Chevy wheels. That's, those are GMC wheels right there. Um, that should not be how it is. So it's 39 inch CS1 or change. That's one option. What are these? These are not going to work well. Um, those, this is, where did we, ugh. I think that we had similar to this. 39 inch mud tires. These are all 37s. So th the mud tires are what we kind of want, but that's what we had right there was those, um, the 30, the new eights. But the Taiga tires might work, uh, I'm interested to try these. Uh, ultra soft. Oh, these are the tires that you get on the... Well, let's try these. Hang on. Ultra soft. On-road. Mud excellent. Off-road good. Mud excellent. Excellent, excellent. We'll try the Taiga tires first. Uh, mud tires. Camo mud tires. 41 inch. Whoa. I think I had those on, maybe. <laughs> that's not going to be so good on snow. But what I'm here's the thing. These kind of float over. If you're if these are on the uh Russian um what's the name of the scout? The the one that you get for the DLC. Hang on. This is the Con Marshal that I was talking about. Um the same tires on there. So I I'm thinking if I put if I put those tires on um that probably will allow us to do the same kind of floating over the snow, which is what we want to do. The chain don't really help you in snow. Chain help on ice, and we don't have ice here. So I'm going to, it's either going to be these or, I like the way that, yeah, we'll, we'll try those. I like the way the wheels look on this one better. Obviously, we want the winch. Um, that's engageable diff lock. Tall front facing snorkel. No, that's gross. Okay. Frame add-ons, definitely small roof rack for sure. Uh, rear bumper. Yeah, get the help around there. Rooftop. Yep. Front bumper. Oh, the heavy-duty pipe hat is that's what gave us uh, the repair points. So we're definitely putting that back on again. Miscellaneous. <laughs> I like those side pipes. Probably in the long run, that's going to hamper us, but there's our original paint that I liked, and that's good enough. I don't really like the bobbleheads and stuff. I don't... Okay, so let's try this with different a different approach here, and we'll do the same road again, but this time... There's all our trucks, by the way. Hey, trucks. They're little friends. <laughs> Days off, friends. My wife is giving me the really weirdest look ever. 
What? But Bab still my friends. That truck we get to use later. So that's the one I was talking about. The CTs, whatever it is. 770, I think. 770G or something like that. I'm having some. This map is definitely causing some frame rate issues. Probably because it's just. I think that's why my steering feels laggy because there's a little bit of a frame rate thing going on. It's more detail than my computer can handle. Ooh. So we get to keep the Bronco without retiring it, which I'm happy about. At least I think we are get to keep, we're getting to keep this. And it's going smoothly so far, but that's because we haven't left the road yet. Now we're going to really find out how this thing does. Oh, much better. Look at that. Yeah, these are this is these tires are meant for this kind of mudding action, but I hopefully hopefully it'll do the same thing on the snow. Um, like I said, in the past I've had a good good luck with these big floaty tires because they kind of just float above the snow and then there's no issues. Still be able to have those diff locks on. It's not it's a pretty slippery surface here, but Much better. Much, much improved. Now, we're going uphill, so it's still going to... Well, yeah, and then all of a sudden we just spoke too soon. Nope, it's still much better. Look at that. And that's about the fastest you're going to go, even with, like, the Yar 87 and stuff like that, where you have the snow tires on it. Um, these trucks get bogged down in this, like, deep snow, but he's doing better than he was with those other tires. Instead of taking us 45 minutes, it'll only take us half an hour now. And we're almost up to climb already. See that? So you just need the right tire for the right job. And we're already closing in on that tower 500 meters away. Well, 600, technically. There we go. Oh, boy. It's going to be one of these. Uh, Put it back in low gear so I don't make a mistake. Wow. Is this a road? It is. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I didn't expect to find the monster truck tires for this truck, but I'm glad I did. Once again, so that way we get to use an American truck, but doing Russian difficulty level stuff. That's... So next level bloop. These tires are, they look a little too large. So that, that probably the, the other ones are a bit better, but these are working just fine. <gasps> oh. I was trying to avoid the mud. Instead, I caused an accident. Uh, frozen. <laughs> Let it go. <coughs> Let's just get up over this thing. Come on. I think I just heard a bear. Good, now I'm going to start sneezing. That helps. <laughs> All right, so let's get up over this. Now, in real life, the rock crawler tires that I originally had on this truck would have been fine for this, but the mud, not so much. I 
I feel very nervous if I'm going to have to bring trucks up here, but I probably am. Because these roads aren't great. There's another main road coming in, it looks like. And we're going to break into one of these cabins and spend the night, so... I hate exploring during the, during the night time. Ah, metal beams. Look at that. Cool. Oh, and there are people there. Look, it's lit up. All right, so I'll be back. All right. Sun will be coming up in a few minutes here. We're going to continue our way to the first outpost. So we explore the gorgeous Yukon Territory, Canada. So I don't know why I thought the Yukon was in Alaska, but it's not. It is, a, I guess, a province of Canada that abuts Alaska. So it's close, but no cigar. And we definitely need these this kind of setup. But I don't know what what American truck you would use aside from. Um, lugubrious usage of the winch. I'm not sure how else you would get through this aside from using a Russian truck with monster tires because this is this would take you weeks with a regular truck. Not, do I feel this truck is OP? Um, wow, this is all bad. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think it's a little teeny bit overpowered. It's not a ton overpowered, but it is a little bit overpowered. Okay, where does this trail go? It's hard to tell. Looks like it does it go up? Or is there something on? Let's see. Well, let's see what's on the other side of that first before we go this way. Because that looks like it's going to go to the right. And I don't. I want to go up there. That is just going to be a mess. Nope, but this does not lead anywhere. It doesn't look like... Wow, this is all mucky in here. This ought to be interesting. So we got a sawmill, maybe? Or is this sawmill or logs? I don't think we have... Maybe we do have log loads now, though. Hopefully they're they're adding this kind of stuff in. Like the original Mud Runner. Oh, there is a road. Look at that. There is a little road. Okay, well. Let's try that and see where it goes. And it branches off to the right and left. We want to go to the right, but maybe we want to come back this way to the left also. Wow, this is really steep. Low, low gear. It's all about tire control here. Man, this is like <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm reminded of Fear's Trail that uh, Feared Fox brought to the multiplayer. Ah, no, Mud Runner. But uh, it also reminds me of, pl of playing with my rock crawler. Where does this go? See, we're not, we're still not, uh, we're headed the wrong way unless this road swings to the right. You know, uh, fudge. Is that all part of this? Yeah, it is. We need to get, we really need to get to that outpost. I'm hoping this swings around, but I don't think it's going to. I think we're going to have to break off the road here and head up. This is going to take us around to that lake. Let's see what's over here, and then we'll go up. 
Is this water or ice? It's looking awfully waterish. Well, folks, you wanted snow. You finally got it. And uh, here we are at the shores of this almost frozen. Wow. What a scene, though. You know, like, this is just pretty epic looking. <laughs> All right. Well, back. We're going to go up this mountain here. So nothing to fear. We'll just plow that over. That's fine. truck pull up and what fun the snow is <laughs> nightmare you wanted snow and now we got it have you driven a Ford lately we're not getting any closer <laughs> I'm trying to find the, the most open rock route that I can get without having to go through deep snow or trees. I'm hoping up here we'll get to the peak and then we'll be able to cut across. And, but uh, I know this looks insane in real life, but people do this kind of stuff with these trucks. I have seen people do it before. And I will say from an RC crawler perspective, uh, you definitely could do this kind of stuff. I, I climb stuff like this all the time with my truck. Uh, of course, to scale. But I take it up to Whip's Ledges, and uh, I go scaling um, back on the rock faces and stuff like that. And I'll tell you what, the truck climbs some pretty amazing things fairly easily. Whoa. Got a bounce there in case we're <laughs> Oh, God. Look at that view. Whoa. Hang on, let me get up here. We'll take a look. Oh, it was more spectacular before I got up to the top, but... Look at that view. I need it. I need. We could use that for a screenshot if that stupid arrow wasn't there. Now uh, let's try this. Hang on. Get a different mission. It's the only mission, of course. There we go. Get rid of the arrow. Look at that view, though. It's crazy talk. <laughs> so we're up there in the mountains. We're gonna move across. Actually, maybe around back this way. Let's see if we can cut around this side. Oh, it's getting deep. But these, once again, these tires I think were the right tires for this type of adventure. Um, my only concern, though, we already are down to half a tank of gas. I don't know how much the roof rack holds as far as gasoline, but I don't think it's much. So that might cause a problem here soon. How far off the map are we going? That's the edge there to the right. So we're going to have to cross Gahadras. Dead off. Wow. Excuse you. Come on. Keep those wheels from spinning, actually, is probably better. What? <laughs> oh, man. Come on. You're almost there. And we're going to do this. In just a second here. We'll be up over the peak. Look at that. Look at that view, though. What a, what a view. That is just crazy. I love, I love mountains. Okay. There's the outpost. We did it. And we did it my way. Oh, no, stop, stop, stop. Okay, turn that off. Okay, there we go. Still some rough stuff to go through before we get there. I got to get, there's like all kinds of obstacles. I, I probably should have, man, I don't know. We'll see if we can get through this. Uh, is 
that the trail right there? Yep. So there was a trail coming up here. We'll see it all exposed when we get up, but this is it. I still like the route that we took better. That was spectacular. Wow, so pretty. And we have an upgrade somewhere. That was awesome doing it that way, man. Okay, so the trail looks like it comes up here. And these are intertwined. These, these, this way and this way, both go back to here and down this way. We'll end up going down there because that's back to pretty much where we started the sawmill. Yep, there's the lake. This was the road we came up here. So we'll come back down and There's the upgrade. We're going to need fuel soon. I'm going to get back as far as I can. And then we'll bring the fueler over. Looks like such a small wiper on the front there. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be an adventure for chain tires. <laughs> that was almost death. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, lordy. Well, I'm going to get a slow-mo rollover. It's okay, though. We have our autonomous winch, so it's not a big deal. So I guess the other route was the... The other road was the right way to get up and come down again. Instead of that huge natural ice chute. And so, with very little damage, uh, we got down the biggest part of the hill. And that's the way we would have gone the other way. And still, that would have been a fun route. That's, But we had just as much fun going up the mountain face. Pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to refuel the truck as best we can. Oh, there's a lot. Look at all the gas on the roof. Okay, so we got plenty. We're good. Um, let's repair the truck. Okay, and we're going to take a look at what do we need to hit next. Uh, I definitely would like to pick up that upgrade part. But that's unfortunately across the river. We'll get there. Uh, we got towers over here. We got a tow uh, big tower over here. If I'm there, I think we probably could scooch around the river. So why don't we go for this? We'll go for this upgrade part next. I'm going to come around this way. See if I can't find a way back there. Or... I'm just going to, no, we're just going to mark that like that, so I know which, I have a little marker on my GPS which way to head, because we really kind of have to go where the road leads us. One of the tough things I'm finding about these maps is because of the snow and the way the map looks, it really is hard to see the map. Okay, hey, there's our divider. Remember, we went to the right there. I think this is where we came up, and I said, oh, do we go to the right or left? And we ended up going to the right, so. I'm not, I don't, oh, what? How did I not see that happen? Now well, that's what the repair kit's for. To the right. And to the left. 
So people weren't kidding when they said this was a tough map. And they were like, you got to use the Russian vehicles. Well, that's the reason why the Russian vehicles work is because a lot of them have these floaty tires. The tank, the Yar, the, the Khan all have, whoa, floaty mush tires. And we don't, the American trucks, except for, you know, well, they don't have them. But this truck does, so. There's our metal beam shop. <laughs> These are terrible roads. I think we're gonna have a terrible time on this map. I'm gonna be frank with you right now. <laughs> this is looking like a massive headache. Okay, I think the way that the roads run, we just kinda have to go back. I don't, yeah, maybe we could cross here I mean yeah let's let's see what we got I think I realized, I mean, we've been through there. I didn't, I don't think I realized we had come so far up though. That, whoa. Don't tip. Oh yeah, this part. I remember this. Okay, I guess we did come up this high then. Okay, try that again. This time in low, low. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we can cross there. No. This really sucked me in. Look at that. Come on. Brr. This one spot, man. It's like Snowmageddon. Looks a lot like where I live in the winter. Except for the Rocky mountains <laughs> but we get a lot of snow like that and it's messy mucky squishy okay so it looks like oh man they're really just we could cruise along the river here but then we run out of rock like this is a mess we, I think I, I'm, I'm really leery about crossing this unless we can find a natural crossing. Let's see if we can't see anything here, but the part is right there. I mean, there's some rocks there, but there's a pretty big space where there's no, there's nothing. Maybe further down river. Let's see what we can see.
Come on, baby. You can do this. Come on. You can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the old rock crawling days. Oh, boy. That's a bad move. I took Will rock crawling. We had fun. And uh, you now he's hooked, too. I don't think he's bought one yet, though, but I think at some point he probably will. They're fun, especially when you work on the road. You know, He's a guy that works on the road. I work on the road. I, take, I keep my truck in my trunk during the spring and summer and fall. Because sometimes I'll be, you know, at a job site or whatever, and then, like, I'm done working and... You know, I just stop for half an hour and play with the truck for a bit. Like, if, if you drive, there's always cool stuff that you drive by. And so when you work on the road, it's kind of like, it's fun to have with you because you can just, oh, hey, let's there's a cool spot. Let's go crawling, you know. Uh, hang on, where's this at? So if you haven't ever seen the rock crawlers, I, I definitely uh, don't recommend the Traxxas ones because they rust out. And they're just kind of poorly made. Things strip and break easily on those. But uh, the uh, S... C is in Charlie X, um, the Axial products, um, the 10 2, the SCX 10 2, and 10 3 are absolutely fabulous trucks. They're just phenomenally put together. And uh, if you can find them, the Viterra products are really good too. I have the Viterra Sender, that's my Chevy Blazer, and it's just a great truck. All right, so that did not work out. We're going to have to go. There's just, there's no good, cr oh, I thought that was going to break the truck. There's no good crossing there, so we're going to have to go around. Uh, where does this go? Let's take a real quick look and see what we got. Um, we're right back by the garage. We might want to stop by and get some fuel. Is there fuel in here? No. Uh, though That road just makes a little U. It kind of follows the river, though. This road comes out here and heads that way. There's another river. Wow, this map is huge. That is awesome. Look at the size of this map. It's just enormous. Uh, but if we go this way, we might be able to get to our stuff. So I'm thinking, let's hang it right here and see what's over. So this is some kind of pickup point. What is what do they make here? Bricks. Is that a trailer store back here? Let's see. I'll tell you what, this is a really backwoods map. It, it is not at all like uh it's not like Michigan where there's lots of roads. This is an off-road only map. I'm still thinking our trucks may not be able to, to handle this. Even the ones that I decided to bring, they're going to they'll be able to do it, but they're going to struggle. This is a warehouse, I think. We have a bunch of different stuff to pick from. Yep. Ooh. Metal rolls. Fuel. Cement. Cool. Cool, cool. So what do we unlock so far? <laughs> There's still no way to get across. So we'll head the other way. You going night night? Are you an archer? Hold on one second, folks. Sorry, guys, I had to take a potty break. We are, uh, one of my wife's guinea pigs is about to give birth, so I was checking on the piggy. She's looking very unhappy right now. <laughs> but, seems like their birth goes pretty easy. 
there, yeah, there, there can be complications, but I meant like as far as like, it doesn't seem like guinea pigs are in horrifyingly bad pain when they give birth. Like they just kind of, they kind of plop them out. Well, that's true too. But they don't like squeal or scream or anything. They just kind of plop. Oh, poor Peggy. Let's see. There is a road. I see a road across right here. Thinking maybe we can make it across there. But unfortunately, the road goes the opposite way. Oh, no, it turns back. Let's see what we got up here. What is that? Some sort of build site. I don't know. They're all over the place. There's all kinds of... It's funny because it's the... The map is definitely not developed, like, but there are people that are working on building homes and living here, so. And I like that. Our precipitation is snow instead of rain. That's cool. That's new. So I'm glad we went this route. We're going to do all of North America first. Then we'll move over to the Russia. I have been exp uh, exploring ahead a bit on the Russian map, uh, working on late COVID, unlocking that, and also did some stuff on the Taiga. I'll tell you what, it's tough. Okay, so this is the stub that goes across, I think. Right? Yeah, it's to the right, straight ahead of us. Yep. Um. So if we carefully follow these rocks, we should be able to get across, no problem. I'm just going to put this guy into low gear, and we'll float across, no rush, and no rushing. I don't know, man. Ugh. This is getting really deep really fast. Uh, thank God for the snorkel, but wow. Looks like we got our, our truck with the upgraded door seals. Didn't get any water in that. That's a crossing right there. I don't know if I'd do that at night. That was definitely interesting. Ow. But we made it. And we have another station here. What is this? Some kind of crew site. Not sure what that means, but. We're going to find out. Okay, so let's float north and see if we can't get to that upgrade. I think we're going to probably have to do some off roading to get there. Um, also, that way is our. that we need to unlock. Tell you what, this thing is a handful off-road uh, without the diff lock on. And I think that's because the wheels are pulling in opposite directions like they're not. When you put the diff lock on, it works well, but because now everything's pulling in the same direction, these tires definitely are making an odd feeling. Yeah, none of the road trucks are going to work on this map. I'll tell you what, you're not going to be using the the Paystar or the Transtar or the Navistar or any of the stars for that matter. Maybe the Freightliners would work okay here. The, the 
was it M M nine one six A one or whatever? And the FLD. The, neither of those are gonna work on here. Donk. I've bopped my motor. How many times have I told you no motor bopping? Now children. That looks way deeper than I want to stick my truck in. All right, there is a pick a point for something. We haven't seen this before. What do we got? Bricks, two cargo left. Oh, maybe we have to drip, drip. Maybe we have to drop bricks off here. Dunno, dunno. I haven't found a gas station yet. This could be trouble. So you can see why some of these were, ah, uh, what? I mean, that literally was the end of the road. So we're gonna have to make a road. We'll stick the out, it's probably easiest to just float around the outside. Around the outside. not get into the current. That would be bad. Let's stay over here. What did you do? Oh, she's growling while she's scratching her ear. She's probably like, you know how when you rub their ears, they go. Our, do our dog, Hattie, is. <gasps> what are you doing? <sighs> our dog, Hattie, is uh, scratching her ears with her paw and making herself grunt. <laughs> you know how you rub dog's ears, they go. Rrr. Was she actually growling, though, or was she just grunting? Like, stop it. Stop it. Oh, wait, that's me. Wait, stop. Stop it. Oh, that's me. Wait. She's, she's getting senile, honey. Poor old Hattie. I was hoping this would be the good way around, but, I, dude, this is looking, like, worse and worse as we go. I don't know. This is going to be tough. I'm debating whether we should go up. I mean, I guess we could continue on around. We're, we're not. My big fear is that the truck will tip to the right and roll off into the water. Like, totally tip. Right now, it's okay if it's on an angle, but I don't want it to roll in there. This spot's really kind of sketchy. Once we get past this, it's not so bad. Let's do this. Just a little safety anchor. Is that a good pull? Yeah, okay, so. That'll keep us from slipping into the river. <laughs> Tell you what, we've done some heavy off-roading tonight. This has been a lot of fun. I really enjoy the, like, the rock crawling aspect of this game and unfortunately they didn't give us too many trucks to do it and the ones that they did you have to use the wrong tires like once again these are not rock crawling tires they're mud tires but for whatever reason they just they work um, the rock crawling tires don't work as well <gasps> oh I just bounced over again it's just, this is all bad But we're only 56 meters away. We're going to get to the upgrade part, and then I'm going to call this an episode because we're in about an hour of recording time. But, uh, yeah, this is... Oh, <laughs> donk. Broken our foot rack there. That's what happens when you go rock crawling. Don't expect things to last. It looks like we're going to just about make it here.
And we're getting low on fuel too, but we have a nice roof rack full. And we made it. And I don't really see any other way to get out here. It seems like that was it. Like, you have to go that way. There's no other way to get here, unless maybe the other way. We'll go around. The, in the next episode, we'll head around that way because we need to head over to the checkpoint. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we got an upgrade for not this truck. Uh, show truck list. We found uh, upgrade. Doesn't say what. <laughs> For the Kolob, which is one of those big trucks from Russia. What is this? Active suspension. Okay. So. Control over the road clearance. Oh. So you can raise and lower. It sounds like active. It's not. It's not. It, it makes it hydraulic. That's pretty cool. So anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. And we will see you next time on Snow Runner. Bye.